owner of California Corvairs here in Chino Hills, California. Um, the Silhouette 2 made by Bill Cushenberry. I'm just going to speak a little bit about his choice on the uh, Corvair front and uh, rear end suspension and drivetrain. Um, I had never spoke with Bill, but uh, I've seen similar things where they'll transplant a Corvair drivetrain and or front axle suspension, uh, usually because of the first reason, because it is a very transplantable tr uh, powertrain. The way General Motors designed this from wheel to wheel, the K-member and the drivetrain itself was known as the Unipack. And the Unipack can be simply unbolted from any chassis and placed into any other chassis. I'm sure Cushenberry recognized that back in the 60s and said we need to build a chassis for the Silhouette 2. We need to have a drivetrain that has some torque and some power, more than a Volkswagen would offer, and is very transplantable. And I'm sure that's why he picked the Corvair uh, base to do that. So what we're working with here is a 1965 140 horsepower. It should have four carburetors. Uh, it's a 164 cubic inch engine. Uh, fitted with a 355 axle and a Power Glide 2 speed transmission. The Power Glide 2 speed transmission is very similar to the full size Power Glide, however, it is a Corvair designated Power Glide. So, that is basically your powertrain. Then you have your straight axles, so this makes this a 1960 to 64. Actually, this one here is about a 62, 61 uh, uh, suspension with swing axle, uh, has four lugs, and then we have the K member out in front here. As we move to the front here, we also have a Corvair front end. Again, a very transplantable four bolts, six bolts, the front ends in anything you want to build it around. You can see a couple bolts here and a couple bolts here. Basically, that's what's holding this whole Corvair front suspension into the, the subframe that Cushenberry built. So again, for the same reason as the back, it's a very transplantable suspension, drum to drum, or wheel to wheel in this case, that you don't really have to alter too much. So again, I think the base model on this car when Bill started was a 61. So I'm sure when they started with this 61, they pulled those suspensions out, pulled the drivetrain out, the Unipack out, and then created and modified the frame to suit the Silhouette 2. And then they could easily place it right back on top and you're in business. So that's why I think they picked the Corvair drivetrain. I think the Corvair drivetrain, obviously from my standpoint, is an excellent choice. It's lightweight, puts out a good amount of horsepower, a good amount of torque, and it's not a, a complicated, has no radiator, water system, or anything like that to complicate things. So it's a really, it's a very simple, very effective, and very transplantable platform.